The main screen is your primary control panel for Skype for Business. It has many exciting features. Tip number one is to activate the navigation menu bar in order to find things faster every time you use Skype. Simply click on the triangle next to the gear icon and check Show Menu Bar. Now you have an easy to access control panel. Click File and View History and this can help you find and search for past conversations from colleagues. Click Meet Now to create and launch an instant Skype meeting. I'll explain this function later. And the tool section. This helps you to customize your Skype experience. You can set up your preferred audio setting by clicking on Audio Device Settings. You can select your preferred audio device and test your microphone and speakers for volume and clarity. Very important. You can do the same thing for your webcam with video device settings. Finally, click on Options and see a host of customizable features including status, alerts, Skype photo, and much more. Take a moment to adjust the settings to your liking. The main screen is packed with useful features, but some of them are hidden, so watch carefully and pause the video to try each feature. To keep it simple, I'll demonstrate them from top to bottom. At the top left is your Virtual Presence Control Panel. Use the Custom Status Callout field to let colleagues know your current situation. You can celebrate a team or individual achievement, explain when you'll be available, or add an inspiring quote. Next, you can click on the status drop-down triangle and adjust your current status. Do Not Disturb disables pop-up notifications and I strongly recommend using this status when you have difficult work to accomplish. If notifications don't stop, you can go to Tools, Options, and Alerts, and under When My Status is Do Not Disturb, check Don't Show Alert. You'll get a lot more work done that way. Try to keep your status up to date so that colleagues can connect or give you the space you need. If you're busy or will be back soon, let them know. Here's a power tip. If you're eager to speak to a colleague who has a busy status, right-click on that colleague and click Tag for Status Change Alerts. When that colleague becomes available, you'll be alerted via a helpful pop-up notice. Finally, let colleagues know your location by tapping on the Location field and entering or selecting your current location. All these features help you connect, inform, and get more work done, so try them today. The next area is what I call the Skype Info Center. This is Part A. In this area, the person icon shows a view of all your frequent contacts, favorites, and groups. The clock icon shows the last 10 days of all different kinds of Skype communications, and if you want to continue an older IM conversation, right-click on that IM conversation and select Continue Conversation. The calendar icon shows your Outlook calendar for the current day. You can save time by clicking there instead of surfing over to your Outlook calendar. Finally, to locate colleagues that you want to contact, simply type their name into the search rectangle below, and you'll find them fast. The next part of the Info Center, Part B, provides various views of your contacts. Groups shows the groups you have created, Favorites shows the contacts you've designated as favorites, and I'll show you how to create groups and favorites in just a minute. The Status button shows the current status of your primary groups and contacts, starting with who is available. Now, This can help you if you have a question that a lot of people could answer. Save time by asking only the available colleagues. Finally. Relationships groups your contacts by friends, family, work group, etc. And new represents anyone who has recently added you to their Skype for Business contact database. You may need to accept their invite to begin communication and keep in mind that different organizations have different rules about communicating with external associates.